There's possibly more than one choice for where the spring went. Kind of weird. Wondering if it was even in the right place. I guess that was it. There's a hole and then there's the part of the mounting of the... Yeah, that seems like plenty of tension. Yeah. I mean, I can always move. When I have to get down here again to put the belt on, I can always move it. Pulleys. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, now I can see that other. Yeah, it's got it's got three wires on it, and one of them jumps from the. Uh, there are some numbers on that thing. Well, it's working, so I'm not going to waste time trying to. You can do anything else about that. It looks like I couldn't get a good picture. I like to take pictures of numbers so that I can, if I need to look something up and find a new one, I, I can go by the picture, you know, any any time. But uh, that's also another bunch of work in itself, you know. So I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, pulley is on. Still had to get down there. Didn't avoid getting down there, did I? But I got it done. Okay. Now no more. I may run. I think I may oughta run down. Yeah. I, I just I tried to kind of wipe my shirt just a bit, and it just so much dirt coming off of it. So I'm gonna. Go down here somewhere. Down there and take a quick air bath. Ah. What's an air bath, you say? Well, it's simple, my son. <laughs> Although it's more akin to a shower. There we go. My chair's in the way that I can't get enough hose out here. since 1975, six, seven. And I hadn't had no, uh, hadn't died yet. Uh, but I did see somebody, when I was working in the cabinet shop, uh, I knew somebody who will rename nameless. Uh, he shot his finger with an, with a, with a finished nail gun accident it's easy to do when you're we used to we didn't have a face frame machine if you know what that is or you know what pocket holes are probably 
I never heard the term pocket hole until the last few years, but we had a face firm machine and that's what it did. It made pocket holes and you'd put screws. We did not have that back then in that first cabinet shop I worked in. And uh, you'd be holding the style and toenailing it and uh, to hold it still. And uh, uh, you'd, you'd come out the side sometimes or wherever you were nailing. If you had your finger close, it would come out the side. You're doing as fast as you can, you know. Come out the side sometimes and... Uh, get you well he his finger was bleeding real bad and he just took the air blower and started blowing the blood off of his finger to look at it and it swelled up like twice its size he showed it to me it scared me too and i had never heard you know but later on when i worked at general dynamics we had all this safety training that said don't ever blow your your skin with the air blower of course i never did it like up real close uh or you might get an air bubble in in you and under your skin and it go to your heart and kill you, you know. I never heard of a single case of that happening, actually. But I'm sure it's, but it's still, I knew that wasn't good when it, <laughs> that, his finger swelled up. But uh, it didn't hurt him, nothing, nothing happened to him. It was just a pretty bad hole where he got that nail in there. It took a while to heal up. It scared him, too, when he did that. This is not wore out, and it spins good. This is the old, old carrier bearing. Okay. Now. Uh, yeah, I'd be. I'd be I'd, what would I don't. I, I had a hard time reaching back there to get that spot where I'd been laying. I think it's still got sand and dirt on it. But uh, I, I'd end up getting, you know, if I knock it. I end up getting a bunch of sand in my eyes. Uh, and I've got, well, I get like kind of a gritty stuff in my in my eyes all the time. In, in, in the house out here, uh, it's really odd how much stuff is floating around lately. I mean, well, I never got like, I mean, it feels kind of like sand. And I didn't, well, I don't. No, if I might could have had a little in my hair just now, but I usually do leave these safe since I already have the safety glasses on. I usually leave them on. One thing you don't want to do is the first time you hit that deal, don't point it at your face because there might be something got in it, some dirt, and it'll hit you in the face. Yeah, <laughs> even not really worse, but more more shocking is whenever there's condensation in the in the tank of the line and it hits you, get hit in the face with a bunch of water. Uh, and it's usually cold, so if it's cool weather, you won't like it. So I always make the first spray away unless I forget. <clears throat> but, you know, just don't be, don't hold the thing up half inch from your hand and start blowing on it. You might actually do what they say could happen, you know. Uh, kind of sluggish. But it is a long day for me, for sure, because I got up, well, it was one, I guess it was 140-something when I, yeah, I think it was 140-something, or was it 1240-something, when I sat down to eat, and uh, I got up at 9 or 10 last night, and then I came out here and started working about 6.30, I think it was, this morning. <sighs> Okay, everything still looks like it's working. Okay, now what are we doing? <clears throat> Get situated again. Next thing, okay, that's in. Wiring's good. I'll put that pulley on there. What was the next thing in the plan? The, the baby trailer hitch ball? I believe so. But that wheel I was showing you earlier, down there below, that little wheel I put in there years ago, if you can see it from here, it may be blocked by that bar. This is this is not a good tripod for a It is a tripod, but it's for a light. It's not a good one for this camera. It's a little, a little heavy enough to make it wobble. I mean, it's only like mm, five-eighths 
in diameter the small and then the smaller one that it goes pretty high it'd go a lot higher but it really well it'll turn plumb over well i've got the legs spread out more now i remember that you can spread them out more if you put something i put a, my other regular baby vice groups on there to keep it in place uh, it only it, the way it is it's just normal I, there might be a missing part this was my buddy's dad's thing one of the things i inherited from my buddy's dad when he my buddy didn't want it or have a, didn't think he could use it, but it was a light. It's, a, it's an aluminum tripod with a light on it. Then I took the light off and put my camera on it because because I, I was using a mic stand and all the and the legs broke off of it. it. Had like five legs and that's only got two, so it'll only stand up if it's leaning against something. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I think you, you, the camera can see maybe see it with the uh, light off but right here there's a wheel that I install that when uh, when I showed you how wore out that other one was it would make it go back as well not just down but back and it would uh, dig into that that trailer baby trailer hitch ball and might squeal like crazy it dug like a half inch hole about a half inch deep in one of them and uh, I saw it in the pictures I think it was the first one that went bad uh, and and uh, mind you the one I put in there the one I just showed you lasted 11 years and then about two years ago when it got that bad I made that little thing I showed earlier in the videos out of the U-joint uh, U -joint cap off my 76 blazer that, that had got bent up from the U-joints breaking <coughs> and uh, I just saved it in case I had an emergency and needed it and it did. I used it on the dryer. I could have done something better. I had a couple of wheel bearings. That I, like when I replace wheel bearings on my blazer, like if I replace one goes bad, the back one say, that's, uh, usually the back one would go bad and not the front one, but I just replace them all. I don't want to have to do that again, and I don't want to get stuck anywhere. So, uh, uh, so I have some that are good, and they definitely handle going that slow, you know. I was looking at them, I was like, man, that's going to make the job two or three days, you know. Trying to really make a real mount for it and all that stuff. I just thought about welding it to, welding the race to the back of the thing or something, or to a bracket. But I, I knew as soon as I hit that race, it would ruin its temper. It might even crack and break, you know. Those things are super hard. The bearing races are... Yeah, you hit it with heat. You probably would. You'd really need to preheat those to weld them because I've been watching a bunch of videos, uh, welding videos, trying to learn more. And also, and on, I got a broken vise kick, uh, cast iron vise that I've always wanted to fix for many years. And I knew they were hard to weld, but I didn't. What you had to do is heat them up and then, uh, and, and, uh, to the about the, almost the welding temperature, well, certain, not that far, but, and then cool them down slowly. Some people, Put them over in a fire and, that, and let it sit there all night and let the coals go down. Some people, a lot of people put them in a barbecue grill on a certain temperature and then turn it down every so often. Some people just pack them in sand and wrap them real good, which seems to make, seems to work good. So, I'm going to shut you back up again. Now, I'll go ahead and turn you, get to where you're going to see my wiring and stuff, aren't you? Oh, I can't see that. It goes upside down when I try to look at it. Hang on, I'm going to go flip it the other way. Oh, now I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So we'll just... Uh, Put it about right there, I guess. Yeah. And I'll work on it right in there. Uh, so, uh, about where it sets. Or maybe I might have to move it a little bit. But See, I've been using it for stacking stuff on while I've been working. But, uh... Trying to figure out where to put this, these parts so that they won't be 
detrimental to each other or whatever or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be really greasy, so I probably better go get... Well, no, I don't have to clean that up. Uh, but I may get my gloves and put them on to get it off of there. <clears throat> I think it will. And then... Uh, <clears throat> Um, it would be kind of good to have it clean first. Yeah, I think I'll clean it off a bit because it's just going to be a huge mess messing, trying to work on it. <sighs> Get my drive my my Dewalt out. Going to be wanting to use it and. Phillips screwdriver head. Yeah, there's one. I think that's the one I took it out of there. Look at those screws and see if they're big. I think they're normal size. If they're real big ones, then I'll, I'll get my... Uh, Still have that one socket on the. That my screws done. Everything's harder to do with gloves on. Screws didn't want to come out of there. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that the. Yeah, that fit good. Yeah. Okay. Trying to make sure I don't start out with a. When you got gloves on, don't uh, don't hold on to that to make sure it's tight while you're spinning. <laughs> it just started wrapping right up in there, of course. Okay, screws. Put them in that little deal so I can't lose them. Yes, I got more stuff to pick. Okay, got these these old dirty uh, greasy. Nuts and bolts that I pulled off earlier and I still haven't picked them up and they're just in the way. Okay, I want to go get my, uh, need something to put them in. <clears throat> That's why I, they just, I just laid them down. I got to go get my cleaner, my, uh, what do you call that stuff? Oh, oh. everything hurts. Mineral spirits, that's what I call it. I'm going to blow some of this crap off of it. Hopefully not on me. I didn't uh, really... I kind of wiped it off a bit the last time I got it out earlier. But I didn't even... I don't know, I don't think I thought about the... My ability to use the air compressor. I love having that nice air compressor. I've had one for many years that my old buddy gave me, but uh, what am I looking for? Oh, something to put the... Ah, there we go. I always save... I always save, you know, like vitamin bottles and stuff. That's a moisture gatherer uh yeah i'll put all this in here and they're perfect for nuts and bolts and screws and all that i used to label them all but it got to where i just don't want to take time to do it anymore let's see yeah the other side of this one is still clean enough to use for that <sighs> Got that on there tight. Uh, I think I've got it on there too tight. What did I do? It's got one of those squeezer things, but it kind of looks broke or something. There we go. 
I don't know what was going on with that. I think I broke it so it would quit locking. But, uh... I got a chair. Man, on his seats weren't two on his feet. That's my, what I said. I want, that, that's just, uh, I thought there might be a bunch of grease on there that had burned on, but, well, there probably, probably is, but it's baked on. I don't think it's coming off, so. Okay, now where's this other one? I don't want to get that inside of there. Let's set it down over right here. I haven't gotten a good, I haven't been able to see it because I didn't clean it off yet. I haven't gotten a real good look at what the damage is to this from riding uh, steel on steel for two years. It rubbed all the way through a uh, about three sixteenths, not quite a quarter, I think, of that U joint cap. Uh, and this was, we'll look at them, the old and the new one together here in a minute. Uh, there we go, that's good enough. Okay, now let me, I'll go put this, uh, I may have gotten these too dirty to use again already. I think I did. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go put this back up there and put these wet rags. Uh, it, up there on the floor where I did the last wet. I don't put them in the trash can until they're dry. We don't know spontaneous combustion. This stuff probably wouldn't do that, but uh, the... Uh, I think I'll get another pair of gloves. I may want them. I don't know if I want them right now, but I might. We'll see. This is the most gloves I've ever used in one day in 10 years. But I don't care. Usually I just quit worrying about it after. I'll, I'll wear some for a little while and then I'll get tired of messing with them or get tired of worrying about it or whatever. And uh, I'll quit, you know, quit wearing them. But I really don't want to. See, I'm going back and forth between things where you really don't want dirty hands and then where it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm messing with these screws. If I go without them, I will. Just put them over here where I'll have them. Okay, now. Uh. I think I'll grab these work gloves for pick, rolling that thing around and then when I get to, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set it to do this. I guess just turn it over. That hurts my ears. Yeah, there's a screw missing right there. I probably should try check those, make sure they're tight. They come loose. I wonder if it's in the that screw is in the, yeah, there we go. Yeah, probably still, yeah, it'd be easier to do it like that. Yeah, you can kind of see in there. There's three screws. I think I can just do it like that, yeah. Three screws that holds that on, and they come in from this side. Where's that Phillips screwdriver? I'll be needing it. It's in my pocket. Where all good screwdrivers should be. No, it's not. Where is it? There it is. If you put in that pocket, you can put two screwdrivers, they'll stay. One, they'll just fall out. 